head. Clean tanks when I ride, duck in the fed, feds. East Coast, they get that bread, bread. It's week 15 of the National Football League, and our focus is on the Lions' leader at quarterback. After his last game, now across 3,000 yards for the season. It's the Lions and the Jets coming up next. That's an afternoon probably best suited for skating at Central Park, but we're across the river and we are in for a cold one at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today we reach week 15 and we've got a good matchup in store between the Detroit Lions and the New York Jets. Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Jets ball club. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the Lions here, it's late in the year. We all know it. We've seen the calendar for these guys. Their bodies could probably use a break, but they have to push on. And they're really not as worried about that as maybe we think. They know they've got the entire offseason. So here are the Lions now backed up for their first drive. And leading them out is their fifth-year quarterback. So this is what we find out about the game plan and the trust factor, don't we? In this situation, the natural thing is take care of the ball. Run it inside. Everyone cover it. Just, you know, get yourself some room and let your punter punt it out of there. But when you've really got a QB you can trust, you might want to take a little shot early and try to create some space. And he's going to take this up past the 10 to about the 11. The last run got six. Now second and four. Looking to throw. Boucher, quick throw, knocked away. It's incomplete. Quarterbacks work all the time on manipulating the defense with their eyes and their head movement. In this case, he just steered the receiver down. That allowed for excellent coverage. Able to knock that one away. That throw taken in by Jamison Williams. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. They'll run for the first time with DeAndre Swift. And this will wind up the Lions first down as he's got this up to the 35-yard line. For a lot of people, the MVP award means a quarterback award usually, but over 100 yards again last week. They're going to have to look his way more than once when giving out this award this season, I think. Yeah, it's not just the consistency. It's been some plays that we've seen where we talk about it for weeks thereafter. That's what we're getting out of him over 100 yards last week. Expects to continue that in this game, too. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. Throwing again, Boucher. That pass caught, it's Williams. And he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. A gain of 32 that time. And they need a play this year. He's certainly been the guy to deliver it as the season has gone on. He's been awfully consistent and sometimes spectacular. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10, just outside the 30. Back to the running game with Swift. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. The Lions hit 12-1 now to start play. And I tell you, it has been a few months now since they've tasted defeat. And they are, without question, the hottest team in football. And I'm really not sure who's going to beat them right now because, to me, they have to be the favorites to go out of the way because they're not just beating teams. They're dominating them. It's been fun to watch them play, not just in their winning, but how they're getting it done. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. One thing that offensive guys stress when they throw the deep ball, you're just counting on your receiver to find it, adjust before the defensive back can get his head around. In this case, though, the DB matched it move for move and knocked it away. 
Back onto the field come the Lions for their second overall drive. They've got a 3-0 lead and the football as they start first and 10. Throwing to start the drive. Boucher. The connecting here with DJ Shark. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. And that's how you pick up a first down. Those shoulders went from parallel to square. And then he brought force with him to finish that run. Oh, that's impressive. And we saw a lot of that a week ago when he got the NFC Offensive Player of the Week award. And he'll be brought down just shy of the 40. So many times in my career I've heard coaches talk about completions are one thing. But as long as we're there at the catch and we get guys on the ground, we can live with that. But if you're going to give up 10, 12, 15 yards after the catch, then your defense is going to be in a lot of trouble. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and 10. Pass is tipped, but he's still able to bring it in. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 16. A good pick up there, 26 yards. Come on now, over the middle, zone coverage where all the eyes are back to the quarterback so they see the ball thrown. How do they get that completed? Well, they got the hand on it. They tipped it. Just a lucky play for the offense, right? It was, and for the defense, almost demoralizing. That's one that they should have because they see that play developing all the way through. And he takes this one in for a Lions touchdown. DeAndre Swift with touchdown number 27. That ties Priest Holmes for the third most in a single year as his guys are able to extend their lead. So how about the season, Charles, that he continues to put together? That's now 25 rushing touchdowns on the year. That's getting into some very rarefied territory. Yeah, it made you and I do a little extra homework prior to this one in anticipation because that one moves him past John Riggins with 24. The final four weeks of the NFL season are upon us, and we got some intriguing matchups in prime time tonight. Patriots and Raiders, that's in Vegas. Josh McDaniels taking on his former employer there. And then Monday Night Football, the Rams and Packers from what should be a frosty Lambeau field at 8.15 Eastern time, 7.15 locally there in Green Bay. The linebacker C.J. Mosley in on the stop. Ball on the 30, they'll come up with a second and five. Once again, it's Swift. He works his way forward for a couple up past the 30. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. On third down, here comes Swift. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. But just four yards on the pickup, but that's good enough to extend the drive. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And that's to Amon Ross St. Brown. And they're going to get this up to midfield. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. He stopped at his tracks by Ahmad Gardner. That felt like a trap because it looked to me like the opposing front was on that play from the get-go. They had everyone crashing the ball carrier before he even made the line, and they hold him to just a yard. Over the middle, hold in by Shark. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets 39. And 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward. And that's a more than acceptable read right there because it's zone coverage. So timing is everything. This time he waits for his man to come open, puts it right on him, and they pick up a first down. 
On first and 10, it's Swift. 51 yards rushing for him now to this point. That's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll get this down to about the 30, 31 yard line. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And this offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. And he's able to pick up the first down here before he goes down at the 26. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. Well, they're currently the best in the NFL in converting on third down, so it was no surprise there that they picked that one up. And they've done it in many different ways throughout the season, Charles. Picking it up, running it, throwing it, just effective on third downs all year long. On first and ten, Boucher. And he knocks the ball away, and it falls incomplete. Once again, they'll come up on the 26-yard line, second and 10. To throw again, Boucher. His throw incomplete. Nice back-to-back -back plays defensively. They're stacking momentum now. One incompletion, two incompletion. They're going for more. To throw on third down, Boucher. That's going to be knocked away. Nice recovery by the defense. He's passed few downs. Able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. Detroit's offense ready to take over. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had the field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one is, goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, trying to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> <laughs> not one that I've ever met. Now a throw over the middle, and he's got it to start the drive. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Give him 13 yards on the opening play of the drive and also give him a first down. Swift going to try up the middle. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. That's a play to take note of there for the defense. I think in the future, if you're going to try and block him, maybe you get a guard to help double-team him and try and steer him out of the play. They should have done it on that snap. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. I like the calmness of how he played the ball here. No panic in his eyes as that throw arrived. I tracked it from the moment it left the quarterback's hand, and that's just where he needed to be to knock it away. Eluding the pressure right. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks are move. The Lions now taking over late in this first half. And we'll see how this is played. Offensively, they've got the lead. Not a whole lot of time left. What, what do you think, Charles? On first down, Boucher will find Williams on the slant. The Lions will use the first of their timeouts as they get it right at the 32nd mark of this first half. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. Throwing on first down, Boucher. Open man right side is Shark. The result, only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up second down. Well, there wasn't much there with that hitch route. They didn't gain what they expected. But sometimes when you call a hitch, you really don't have an alternate to go to. You don't have a second route to throw it to. So sometimes you have to rifle in there and hope for the best. Okay, Brandon, time for a sprint to the finish as it's time to get you caught up with what's happening around the NFL here in a pivotal Week 15. 
we begin with a rematch of the classic double doink game. Philadelphia in the Windy City to take on Chicago. And it's the Eagles who are out in front. A touchdown pass there for Jalen Hurts. We'll stay in the NFC North as we head over to Minneapolis to check on the Vikings at home in U.S. Bank Stadium. And they fall in that one to the visiting Indianapolis Colts. Matt Ryan, four touchdown passes in the victory. Finally, let's get down to the Bayou. Check in on the Saints at home at the Caesars Superdome. And they've got the lead in that one over the visiting Atlanta Falcons. Alvin Kamara with two touchdowns thus far. Time now for a check of the next-gen stats in that first half for the Lions. And they've had some success on the ground. And with the lead going into the second half, they'll no doubt be looking to keep it going. Meanwhile, for the Jets, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. getting set to go on offense to start the third. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Same exact result as last play, a pickup of 11. They've got the lead early here in the third quarter, and runs like that are how they established that lead in the first half. I love the fact that you're using the word lead because they are leading from the front, pounding on the defense right now with the running game, and truly establishing themselves here in the second half. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. Throwing again on second and ten. Boucher, a quick throw there, going to be batted away and incomplete. Gardner for once in my life, I'll be succinct. In a one-possession game, every single stop like that could be a difference maker. On third down, Boucher. And that nearly the pick that they needed. He couldn't pull it in, though, and it's fourth down. So it would appear... Now this offense back out and set to go for their next drive. The crowd may be losing just a little bit of the edge after back-to-back -back punts. They want some big plays. They want to see some offense. They want to see somebody break away, whether it's through the air or on the ground. Now it'll be interesting to see where the patience is on both sides. Each head coach, can you hang in there and not try and force something that could put your team in some jeopardy? And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game, trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later, and let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. And he'll be brought down at the 27. But we're used to seeing the guy that you consider the number one receiver double covered. But how about this guy? He's double covered and finds a way to make the play for a first down. That's how you increase your Madden rating, right? No doubt about that at all. And you know something? I will hear about that from him soon. On the handoff, this is Swift. 75 yards for him on the ground now as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Six yards on that last play. Here's second and four. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. 
And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. A solid pickup of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. Well, you certainly have to give a little credit here because they're playing this game now at their pace. This is ball control football, sustained runs, taking their time, and making it work. Okay, ready? Back to throw. Boucher. Open man, and he's got Williams. Touchdown, Lions. A great play there with touchdown number eight on the year. And they are able to add on to their advantage. Circle that drive because that might be one to remember. Well executed to give him a little cushion. Well, let's take it into the boxing ring. You talk about them commanding it, keeping the fight where they wanted to, whether it was in the center of the ring or putting them on the ropes because it was jab, jab, jab. And finally, the haymaker to put that drive away. Here comes a field general leading his offense back out there for the next possession. He's been pretty solid, pretty consistent. Just the one touchdown pass, but I think he's managed the game well, no? I would agree with you, and that's what you're looking for out of your field leader. Making sure that you're playing well and not making any big mistakes. Oftentimes, that's how you're judged. How big a mistake and when it occurs. No interception so far. Don't like that. I just want you to know that you agree with me. That's going to get me through this third and fourth quarter. Are you touched? <laughs> He's patting his heart, boys and girls. He's touched. Respect. Right back to Swift again on second down. And he'll take this to about the 24, a gain of three. That play reminded me a lot of a former teammate of mine. We used to call him the trash man. His ability to sit through traffic and make plays was uncanny. And that's exactly what you want from your Mike linebacker. Be caught by St. Brown. That he won't quite make it. He needed six. He got about five. Fourth down. If this for baseball, we call this small ball. Instead of pushing it downfield, they throw a short pass trying to pick up the first down. But the defense rallies to the football and stops him short, bringing up a fourth down. offense set to take over their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago first downs a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten throwing to start the drive Boucher catch is made by Hawkinson the tight end and he takes this up to the 40 yard line before being corralled 15 yards is the pick up there and the drive starting very nicely first down They'll run right here with Swift. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. So in jet territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. And the tackle going to be made at the 38. And let's face it, you can put any Halloween costume on him. You're not going to be able to disguise him because for a tight end of his size, difficult to sneak him anywhere, but that's what they tried to do. Lined up on his right, tried to work his way back to his left but just a minimal gain as the defense was able to react quickly. And that's going to be another first down as the tackle made at the Jets' 26. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down, stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. From the gun, here's Swift. 116 yards rushing now for the NFL leader coming into this ball game. A good run, got seven on first. Here's second and three. Now 
Now a carry for Swift. And he'll take it down here just shy of the 15 at the 16-yard line. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. Now we give up the middle to Williams. And they get to him quickly here as he stopped right around the 13. Hold it. Off it. That's on the tackle, Panay Sewell. Still first down. Operating from the gun, Boucher. A quick throw knocked away and incomplete. And based on the play we just saw there, he might not be the guy you want to challenge in coverage on these all-important snaps. He certainly looks dialed in right now. To throw on second down. Boucher, that one complete. He finds Sharp. And he's going to be marked down just outside the 10. The Lions on third down. Not quite 50%. Four for nine. This will be third and five. Looking to throw. Boucher. And in for the Lions. Touchdown. Jamison Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Lions are able to build on to their fourth quarter lead. Well, that's certainly going to bump up the old win probability index because now it's a two-score game here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, you're taking me into that deep water now. Win probability index. This game's definitely not over. We're not looking at a half percent or something. It's just two scores. But the way that this team has played, to me, what I've seen, they absolutely deserve to win this game. They've been the better team by far throughout. And Detroit getting set to go now. Well, there are two scores on the plus side. Still time here in this fourth quarter, but maybe you start thinking about playing keep away? Yeah, I think here's the situation. You're not thinking touchdowns anymore. You're just thinking first downs to keep up with your theme there, playing keep away. First downs, they can't touch the ball. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. Right back to Swift again on second down. And very little daylight there. He'll get a couple up to the 44. Jets will bring in a nickel set here as they try to stop this third down. Back to throw. Boucher. He's got his man, T.J. Hawkinson. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. The passing game continues to be their friend, even with a stable lead here in the fourth, Charles. They're going back to that well. Yeah, with their overall philosophy, you know that they trust their quarterback. He's been able to throw it well. They continue to throw these safe passes. Who can blame them? Here's Swift. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Looking to throw. Boucher. Well, that'll be incomplete. Well, he took a shot as he let that go. And it's going to bring up a third down. Well, that's a good piece of quarterbacking right there because he certainly felt the pressure coming. The alternative, getting sacked for the first time. He didn't like that option at all. Did a nice job saving yardage by throwing that one away. Here's a toss play right to Swift. And he maybe makes it back to the line of scrimmage. That's it. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. They've called this number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite. Now the Lions offense, they get ready to head back out there. 
And this game not quite in hand yet. We'll likely see all three timeouts defensively and then reassess where we are. Now it's Swift. The Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They'll run here with Swift. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. And they're going to stop play here. And the injury is to, yeah, that's DJ Chart, the receiver, who's in need of some help right now. Back to throw. Boucher, right side to Williams. And he's brought down short by a yard. It's a third down gain of four. first down as they manage to convert and that'll keep the drive alive. get him down but he's inside the five all the way to the three here's Swift and he will push his way forward down to about the three yard line so the ball position now at the three here's second and goal they'll run with Swift slipped one tackle but no more as he's knocked to the deck behind the line of scrimmage That'll be a loss of a yard, and it leads to a third down. And now we'll get a timeout here. They're able to stop it with one second to go in this game. Patterson on a lot of pressure on this kick. This to swell the lead to six. And the kick is good. So you wonder how this one might be remembered the next time these two teams meet. But until then, this game's over. So no shortage of offense in this game, but a very clean game too, Charles. Each side got its points, but they did so without committing a single turnover. That's so true, and it certainly felt like NFL football at its finest, right? You talk about the highest level for both of these offenses. Neither one of them afraid of taking risks, or both of them aggressively pushing it downfield. I did like, Brandon, how smart they were about going about their business, though. They were high flying, but they took care of the ball. Yeah, they did. And just keeping it clean in a game like this with all these points, you don't see that very often, even at the highest level. Job well done by both sides. So for the Lions, they continue to make their case as a Super Bowl favorite as they move to 13-1. and And they'll have another road date next week with the Carolina Panthers. Meanwhile, for the Jets, the season is really nosediving now as they fall to 2-12. And, and they'll get a chance to redeem themselves next week at home against Jacksonville.